What's up? How are you guys this week? I didn't really feel like reading reviews today, but some uh, idiot, for lack of a better word, sent me a, a, pr a pretty funny review this morning. So we will read that one. Ball Lover left the following one-star review for the product Veal Testicles <laughs> Empty. There was no nut in the nut. <laughs> uh, P.S. You can contact the reviewer via I love balls at gmail.com. <laughs> now, I looked up this customer and uh, they never actually placed an order with us. So I'm assuming they were looking for some type of uh, fluid in the testicles, but unfortunately they were disappointed. Anyway, that cheered me up a little bit, guys, because I was in my car for nine hours yesterday, had the worst migraine headache. Made me really consider that beach in Mexico for a few hours. But as usual, we have some new stuff. So let's take a look around and show you guys what's going on this week. And then later, we'll do the complaining and go over what else has been going on with the legal nonsense and stuff like that. So my guys have all of the meat orders packed up for this week. Egg orders will be going out tomorrow. We do have the plain jerky back in stock. It's, it's kind of biltong style. I will say it's not a hundred percent like biltong but it's definitely closer to biltong than jerky now uh, just salt and apple cider vinegar so this is kind of like the plain flavor and then we do have a flavored version that has like coconut aminos onion garlic and uh both both very very good guys but i think uh the next product we will have should be some legitimate biltong all right so let's jump in the freezer and see if i can remember what we have goat heart is back in stock we were out of it for a while but it's not really that popular of a product. Maybe some of you guys wanted it back. For a while, we only had the goat testicles, but we did just get the lamb testicles back in stock this week. And we also have the beef testicles that we just got as a new product uh, maybe two months ago. I mean, we got a decent amount of restocks this week, guys. We have the one pound chuck steaks back in stock, really affordable. Uh, we have some organic ribeye for you guys that we're running low on. Plenty of flat iron steaks. All of the beef glands are around this area. We got the ovaries, pancreas, more pancreas, thyroid over here. We have some tri-tip. Oh, ribeye stew meat, if you guys haven't waiting for this. This is a completely new product, uh, tenderloin stew meat, which comes in a 2.5 pound package at uh, $34, which is actually maybe not the correct price that we have on the website. I got to double check that, but either way, this is very, very affordable for tenderloin, but obviously it's chunked up like stew meat. So I, I think I'm really gonna enjoy this myself in, in the barley soup because when you put something really, really tender that falls apart, it's just so much more enjoyable to eat and it's also a lot easier on digestion. And then we got the, the one pound thick cut ribeyes back in stock. For, for maybe a month or two, we were only offering the, uh, the nine ounces, the smaller ribeyes, so I'm sure you guys are gonna be happy to have these. Just regular thick cut one pound ribeyes. So we got plenty of the shares in stock, guys, the beef shares and the pork shares. So no, no worry about uh, those running out at all. If you want to see all of the sausage, hot dogs, different charcuterie products we offer. Collagen broth is in stock. You guys have been really uh, buying all of this every week from us. So hopefully we can keep up the demand. All right, so in the fridge, we got some fresh made roast beef for you guys. We are back to the top round instead of the truck roll. So it's the more traditional roast beef flavor, nice and rare. And for the most part, we have all of the cheeses in stock. Running a little low on some, but we have everything. The eggs as well. We have a lot of customers that have been enjoying them, purchasing them consistently, and really only uh, positive feedback on those. Nothing really going on with organ supplements. We did uh, restock the magnesium oils a few weeks ago with MSM and the plain one in the new glass bottles. All of the beef powders are on, I guess, liquidation discount because we are discontinuing them. And we do have the macronutrient enzyme blend back in stock. So hopefully by the end of November, we get the new products in and uh, the enzyme blend will be included in that. So if that's something that you guys have been using to help your digestion, we will continue to offer that. Wi-Fi shielding, we're just waiting on some like kind of wallpaper stuff. And then I'll just do a product highlight of everything for you guys. Uh, Frankie's Naturals, we restocked the clay shampoo and the African black soap. So everything's available. I was actually using the bug spray last week because uh, I was trying to get in maybe one of the last tanning days of the year and uh, smells very, very pleasant. I like the lemongrass and the other oils in there are just very, very nice aroma. It's nothing overpowering. 
Now, I don't really know what's going to happen, guys, and honestly, I don't really care that much at this point. Uh, I do have a backup warehouse that I put a deposit on, but if my employees don't want to move with me, even though I'm paying them way too much, I, I just don't have the physical energy. Uh, I'm just not healthy enough to, to operate the business myself. So if that happens, maybe we'll just wrap things up. Who knows? Uh, landlord is still trying to evict us in court, and everyone, including my own lawyer, seems to be on the side of the... Uh, jerk off secret society members and you know the continued censorship of my youtube channel um, and i got a bit of a reality check yesterday when going to uh to see a, a meat plant that might have been available for sale uh we need to have completely separate like operations like the, the shipping and the warehouse and the order fulfillment has to be separate from the usda plant so and I don't have anywhere near enough money to get both of them at this point. And honestly, like, I feel like I'm still young. <laughs> like, I can still do other things if I want to. So uh, I'm really considering at this point, you know, I've been doing the business for over three years now. I've completely lost my mind. I'm not physically healthy yet. I'm just frustrated the whole time. And I've always been relatively unhappy with how things are going. But as long as I'm helping people and providing high quality product, that's kind of kept me going. But at this point, I'm just... I'm just about to throw in the towel because uh, it's fucking, it's just too much at this point. I was thinking of doing a GoFundMe as like kind of a last resort kind of thing, but I don't like asking people for money, honestly. I just don't want to do that. Um, and even if we did get the money from the GoFundMe, I still don't know if I'm willing to, to, to do it. I mean, we, we would never get the amount of money I would need anyway. It'd be like at least half a million dollars at this point. Um, as I've said, guys, I was supposed to be in this warehouse for another two, two and a half years. And by that point, maybe we would have been in a good enough uh, position with like the financials and uh, the records and everything that when we go to the bank, they give us enough money for us to do everything we want. But uh, it's whatever at this point. You know, I think I've done enough. I'm tired of the YouTube censorship. I'm tired of everything. And uh, I don't know. I'll see how I feel over the next few weeks. But um you know, I, I was going to talk about this many, many times over and over again, and I kind of kept holding back, but, uh, you know, in the anticipation that things were going to get better and I was going to feel better about this, but I'm really not. Um, so we'll see.